Coach Cody. Last day you guys are here in Oahu, actually Waikiki Beach. Yeah. Uh, first off, how's the trip been for you guys? Oh, it's been great. It's been awesome. This is a great experience. And I tell you, uh, you know, Jay was right on the money when he had uh, talked to me last year about coming here. He said it would not only be a great wrestling experience, but a great experience for everybody to come over. So it was, it's been great. You know, looking at the round robin competition, you and I were just talking about that. Yeah. What was the round robin? What's the benefit? You know, there's a yeah. southern scuffle right now. Yeah. There's a lot of guys getting. You know, just there's a lot of scrapping down there in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee. But what's the benefit of not going to Midlands, not going to the yeah. scuffle, coming here? What did you guys get out of well, it? I love both of those events, but you know, particularly with us having such a young team, you know, you go you go to one of those tournaments and you go and two, and it's uh, you know you don't get to learn as much as you do about your team as you do coming here and doing a round robin event. You know, we we average four or five matches coming here, and there are four or five quality individuals that we were able to wrestle. So, you know, going forward, we, we know what we need to improve on. You know, and sometimes you can't find that out with a couple matches. Uh, so to, to have the more matches, and, and surely for wins, you know, we need that formula to get to the NCAA tournament. So we need to be somewhere where we can we're, we're able to get the ability to get more wins for our young guys too. So. Speaking of young guys, you know, Clemens had some good matches. He had a great match with Farr, I thought. Uh, and, and looking at Milhoff, he had a great match yeah. with Terrell. Yeah. Um, you had some guys that were just, they, they were, they, they were scrapping. Dixon yeah. at 97, I thought he got some good experience yeah. here. Yeah. But out of a young team, what do you want to see here in Hawaii and what do you want them to get out of it? Well, I just want them to grow with every event, you know, and, and that's what I liked about, again, about the round robin is that they get so many matches and, uh, and that's what we're hoping to do as the year goes. I know we've had a brutal schedule so far. We've seen Oklahoma State, we've seen Cornell, you know, Rutgers has a quality team. We've seen them. We've seen Missouri so far this year. And uh, so, you know, we, we really don't get any breaks with the schedule. And even coming here, you know, this is another big time event too for us. So, you know, for those guys to be able to get that experience of coming here and wrestling tight, flight, top flight competition, this is great. What does this do for recruiting, knowing kids that if they can come from the Midwest or, or come from somewhere where it's not warm right now. Yeah. And, and they yeah. can come do something like this for five to seven days. What's this yeah. do for recruiting? Well, we have great weather in Oklahoma. It's brutal back there right now. It's pretty cold. You know, we're expecting a snowstorm tomorrow again. So, uh, but for them to come out here and get a break as far as the weather goes, this is wonderful. You know, not only with that, but, you know, one thing that was attractive to me coming here also, not only just being able to wrestle a quality tournament, but we've had a training camp here the last couple of days. So we've been able to work out with Oregon and we've been able to work out with uh, Minnesota and American University. And then, you know, they'll continue to do that the next few days. And, you know, it's good for your guys to, you know, it, when it's not under the limelight and getting out there and wrestling in the big room, you go to the wrestling room, it's a different deal. You go in and are able to wrestle some of these top guys and our guys can see, hey, you know, I'm right in there with these guys. You know, you take the, uh, the you know, uh, intensity of a match away from it and then just a more relaxed situation, you know, they can also see where they are right now mentally and see that, you know, this sport's 99% mental and just put themselves hopefully in the same mindset that they are when they practice, when they turn, uh, switch over to competition, you know, we're hoping that we can get a lot out of that, those training, as far as these training camps have gone. No, no Cody Brewer. What was going on with Cody? I interviewed him, I talked to him. Yeah. And, and, and why, why didn't he wrestle in the event? Well, he's got an infection. He's on an antibiotic right now. So we felt it was better to keep him off, hold him off for the next few days. He should be fine by next week. He's got to go back to the doctor. But it, the good thing is it's not an injury. It's nothing serious. And, and it, it, he actually, it happened while he was home. So he came back and he thought he was going to come. You know, he's a guy who hates to sit out and he's really, he was just miserable watching the whole time yesterday. So he'll be, he should be back in action by next week. How serious is DeAngelis, Justin DeAngelis' injury? Will not, we see him back? Not bad. Yeah, he'll be back. Uh, I think, I don't think he'll be back for American and uh, uh, we also have Hostra coming up next week, but I think he'll be back the following uh, week for, you know, that, that's a string of a bunch of home events that we have. So he'll be back for, for those events for sure. But it's not that serious, you know. It's it's you know he's you know we're looking to probably get him surgery right now, but it's just a little cartilage issue. So, but, but he's fine. He's fine. All right. Yeah. Feet are in the sand right now. Yeah. <laughs> we got a beautiful view out yeah. here right now. We got yeah, a, a is, Hawaiian this, sunset. What's yeah, it meant to you, coach? It's awesome. Yeah, it's just been great. You know, my wife is over here with me, and and we have uh, four little boys at home, and she doesn't usually get much of a break, and she never feels like she needs one, but. Surely since we've been here, she's slept like a rock and she's been able to get out. You know, it's not easy to be a coach's wife, you know, we're on the road all the time. And so just this has been a great treat for her, you know. And uh, again, you know, what it, what it, what it does uh, for us, you know, to be able to come over here together, it's just been wonderful.
All right, Coach, if there's one thing, one highlight of the trip, what's it been for you? Uh, actually, well, every, every chance I get to pick Jay Robinson's brain, that, that's great. You know, he's, uh, he's not only done a lot for the sport of wrestling, uh, he's, you know, equally as much as he's done for the University of Minnesota. So anytime I get to sit down with him, you know, the short time I get to talk to him, I always am able to bring a lot back. I try to learn something every day, and surely every time I've been around him, I've learned a lot. So that was a highlight for me. You know, again, my guys coming out here to compete. Uh, the training camps have been a highlight. The great turnout that we have. These uh, the Hawaiians definitely appreciate good wrestling, and, and you've probably heard them during the the, the tournament with all the high flying moves that were hit. They were just really excited to see uh, some of that, and they're really appreciative of it. So it was really it was really neat. You know, the whole thing was really just great. Last thing, will you be back? Uh, yeah, we want to come back. We want to do everything we can to get back here. And uh, you know, it doesn't hurt that you know. Well, several of my favorite coaches are here too so it's nice to be in an event like that where you're around these great people so uh, you know we, we hope to come back we're going to do everything we can to try to get back here next year all right coach you got anything else for me uh no just i appreciate what you guys are doing i always appreciate what float does for our sport all right coach thanks for the time mahalo which is thank you yeah. aloha and enjoy the snowstorm tomorrow yeah. in oklahoma <laughs> and uh you know what get out here on the beach and enjoy yourself right yeah we'll do it mahalo to you <laughs>